Greetings, this is Brother Jackie, uh, Brother Steve at WildernessMountainMinistry.org. We have a really a good broadcast for you tonight. First, we're going to play you something up front. This is uh, Brother Jackie, Brother Steve at WildernessMountainMinistry.org. Uh, we come here tonight to uh, discuss uh, Daniel's timeline and uh, John, uh, the Revelator, opening the seals, the seven seals and the thunders. So I guess we could kind of go back from the beginning, can't we, Brother Steve, and kind of fill them in. You want to start it out when we started? Raising our weight. Well, the the project in earnest really started in 2008 when uh, a, fa a 300 acre farm was put into the ministry's hand, and uh, we at that time started to raise wheat uh, in earnest. And uh, ever since then, uh, we have gathered thousands and thousands of bushels of bread quality wheat. Um, at the farm in Wisconsin and now have completed that project and now we're just awaiting to take the next step of uh, God's vision for Israel and taking the wheat to Israel. Yes, uh, from there it was uh, what around 2008 mm -hmm. When I was on the farm in Wisconsin, uh, the Lord began to reveal things to me, mm -hmm. like He did in, uh, with Daniel in night visions. Mm -hmm. I was laying up on my bed at 4 o'clock in the morning, a.m. in the morning, and all of a sudden I heard a voice say, And He shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Mm -hmm. Well, I realized that God wanted me to go to the Daniel, the book of Daniel to read, to understand what was going on. Uh, it was shortly after that, uh, Brother Steve was sitting in his room up there in Wisconsin on, on his bed, in his bedroom, and had a little book open, and I'll let him share that with you. 
Well, the, the Lord had put on my heart the, the, the times that we were living in, and he had me in Daniel, Daniel chapter 8. And you sat down uh, alongside of me, and I asked you a question. And uh, I asked you, how long shall be the vision concerning the sacrifice? And you started to open up the vision that Daniel saw 2,600 years ago. Yeah, I remember that so clearly. Um, it was shortly right after that that... Uh, I did begin to uh, re uh, view in on the time frame. Um, God, was, God was letting me know that we were going to have uh, two things that would happen before the last week began. He said that we would have a black president and a, and a woman president mm -hmm. during the last week of Daniel. That's right. One for the first three and a half years as president, the black man, and the woman for the, the last uh, part of it, uh, during the Little Horn, time of Little Horn. Anyway, I want to go through this as fast as I can. It was then that uh, I came back, and uh, after reading the scriptures and God uh, opening up my understanding, I preached a message called... Uh, that 2300 days shall be division and uh, of the daily sacrifices, the beginning of the daily sacrifices. Uh, I believe what we saw was uh, where Daniel was told to seal up division until the time of the end. Mm -hmm. And now we've come to the place and have arrived to where in John. Uh, Chapter 22, where John was told to seal not up the sayings right. of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Mm -hmm. um, he said, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He, he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. So that tells me that God had intervened, the Lamb had intervened to give the final warning and call for uh, his people to repent. And to turn back to him. Um, this is what I got out of it. And that this would also um, give the Gentiles three and a half years to the closing, to the switch, back to the natural branches, the door of grace shedding. Um, I believe this, uh, you can find this also in uh, Revelation chapter 5 where John was uh, talking about the four and twenty elders, the beast, and he talked about the lambs. The lamb had prevailed to open the book. And so, um, so to give you a quick overview of that, we uh, saw Revelation 6, 1 uh, come to pass, uh, where John saw this religious beast. And John said, I heard where the lamb had loosed one of the seals, he saw where the lamb had loosed one of the seals. And it says, and he went forth conquering, went forth to conquer with a bow. Uh, and it said also, and I heard, as it were, the noise of a thunder. Mm -hmm. And the book of Revelation is like, you know, something coming down the road because there's the prophecy first, then the event down the road. There's, Amen. Like there's a uh, like there's lightning before the thunder. Sure. And so we saw the religious beast in a meeting with our president in April 2011, somewhere around there, and then we saw the 2300-day uh, countdown of the daily sacrifices begin in, in, in Jerusalem, offside of the Temple Mount, where the rabbi had said that, that he hoped within a matter of what? Just a, a short while, a few years, that they would be doing this in earnest on the Temple Mount in the Temple. I believe that that fulfilled or opened up the 2300-day vision mm -hmm. of the beginning of the daily sacrifices, where the, this religious beast breaks his covenant with a, the white horse of mm -hmm. peace, the first seal, loose, in the midst of the week to the next seal mm -hmm. with the red horse, 
and we know who daddy is. Yeah. Under the red Chinese and red and Russians. Red, and, red Russian. <clears throat> yeah, and where they take peace away from the earth mm -hmm. for the last 42 months. So Amen. I would like to uh, tell you that we have a vision to feed the remnant in Israel. Um, we are here. We're going to be bringing a lot of series and a lot of uh, good things, uh, prophecies, uh, as God brings things to the light. Amen. We are, we are living in a serious hour. We are pressing, striving to enter in the straight and narrow gate. What can you say? But you're going to be very amazed at these profound revelations. As the book of Amos uh, 3, 7, he was told that the Lord God would do nothing first except he reveals his secrets to his servants, to prophets. Amen. Now what I'm going to put on for the next few moments is something I want you to hear. And I'm going to put that on now about uh, Re uh, Revelation chapter 5 where John saw the Lamb open the book. Chapter 5. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power, be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, Amen. and unto the Lamb, for ever and ever. Amen. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down, and worshipped him that liveth for ever and ever. Chapter 6. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Okay, Come this is Brother Jackie. Uh, I thought I would play that for you over here. Uh, I believe that you can credit that also to uh, Revelation chapter 22, where uh, John said, Seal not up the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Notice in that message, in the book of Revelation chapter 5, that that it was dealing with the seven seals, Steve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes. you know, and I believe that God has revealed unto us, That's right. you know, the first seal, mm -hmm. Revelation 6, 1 and 2. Amen. I believe that Daniel's timeline began in around April of uh, 2011. 2011. We're into, already into the 2300 days of yes. the last week. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. So let me uh, say that we're going to, probably close here in just a minute and we're going to be bringing longer messages about and you're going to be really amazed at what you hear so uh, this is Brother Jackie and Brother Steve at WildernessMountainMinistry.org uh, 